What is a total solar eclipse and why is it so special? How can you witness this amazing event safely and enjoyably? And what can we learn from it about our sun, our earth, and our place in the universe? Hello and welcome to Curiosity, where we explore fascinating and interesting topics about everything. Today we're going to talk about a rare and spectacular phenomenon that will happen in the sky in 2024, a total solar eclipse. First, let's start with a quiz. Can you guess when was the last time a total solar eclipse crossed the United States from coast to coast? Was it in 2017, 1979, 1918, or 1878? If you said 2017, you're right. But if you missed that one, don't worry. You'll have another chance in 2024, and it will be even better. A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun and blocks out the sun's disk completely for a few minutes. This creates a dark shadow on the Earth's surface, called the Path of Totality, where the Sun is completely hidden by the Moon. Outside this path, you can still see a partial eclipse where the Moon covers only a part of the Sun. A total solar eclipse is a rare and beautiful sight to behold. For a few minutes, the sky turns dark, the stars come out, the temperature drops, and the animals get confused. But the most stunning part is the sun's corona, the wispy outer atmosphere that becomes visible only during a total eclipse. The corona is a million times fainter than the sun's surface, so it's normally hidden by the sun's glare. But when the moon blocks out the sun's light, the corona shines like a crown of fire around the dark disk of the moon. The corona is also the source of many mysteries and discoveries. Scientists have long used solar eclipses to study the sun's structure and behavior and to test theories and find new phenomena. For example, solar eclipses helped scientists discover a new element called helium, find evidence for Einstein's theory of general relativity, and understand how the sun affects the Earth's atmosphere and climate. The 2024 total solar eclipse will be a great opportunity for scientists and the public alike to learn more about the sun and its influence on our planet. Compared with the 2017 eclipse, the 2024 eclipse will last longer, the sky will fall darker and the sun will be more active. Let's see why. The duration and darkness of a total solar eclipse depend on how big the moon appears in the sky and how close it is to the center of the sun's disk. The bigger and closer the moon is, the longer and darker the eclipse will be. The moon's orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle, but an ellipse. This means that the moon's distance from the Earth changes throughout the month, from about 360,000 kilometers at its closest to about 400,000 kilometers at its farthest. When the moon is closer to the Earth, it appears larger in the sky, and vice versa. The 2024 eclipse will happen when the moon is near its closest point to the Earth, making it appear particularly large. As a result, for anyone fortunate enough to make it to the path of totality, it will be an especially dark eclipse that will last for nearly four and a half minutes. That's almost two minutes longer than the 2017 eclipse which happened when the moon was near its farthest point from the Earth. The darkness of the eclipse also depends on the time of the year and the location on the Earth. The 2024 eclipse will happen in early April, when the Earth is closer to the Sun than in late August, when the 2017 eclipse happened. This means that the Sun will appear slightly larger and brighter in the sky in 2024, making the contrast with the darkness more dramatic. The 2024 eclipse will also cross the United States from south to north, passing over Mexico, Texas, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and Canada. The farther north you go, the closer you'll be to the center of the moon's shadow, and the darker the eclipse will be. But the darkness is not the only thing that will make the 2024 eclipse more spectacular. The sun itself will also put on a much livelier show thanks to its 11-year activity cycle. 
The Sun is not a static ball of fire, but a dynamic and turbulent star that constantly changes its appearance and behavior. The Sun has a powerful magnetic field that twists and tangles as the Sun rotates. This magnetic field affects the Sun's surface and atmosphere, creating features like sunspots, flares, and coronal mass ejections. These features vary in number and intensity over an 11-year cycle from a minimum of activity to a maximum and back to a minimum. The 2017 eclipse happened near the solar minimum when the sun was relatively calm and quiet. The 2024 eclipse will happen near the solar maximum when the sun will be more active and stormy. This means that the sun's corona will look more complex and dynamic with more bright streamers and loops of plasma extending from the sun's surface. The solar maximum also increases the chances of a coronal mass ejection, a large burst of solar material and magnetic field that is ejected from the sun at high speed. A coronal mass ejection can cause geomagnetic storms on Earth, affecting our power grids, satellites and communication systems. If a coronal mass ejection happens during the 2024 eclipse, it could be visible as a bright blob of light moving away from the sun. The 2024 eclipse will not only be a great show, but also a great opportunity for science. Scientists will use various instruments and methods to observe and study the eclipse, from telescopes and cameras on the ground and in the air to satellites and sensors in space. NASA has funded five scientific projects for the 2024 eclipse to collect data that are only available during eclipses. These projects will study the Sun's corona and its influence on the Earth's atmosphere, especially the ionosphere, the layer of charged particles that affects our radio waves and GPS signals. Some of these projects also encourage participation from citizen scientists who can help collect and share data and observations. But you don't need to be a scientist to enjoy and learn from the eclipse. All you need is a pair of eclipse glasses or a pinhole projector to protect your eyes from the sun's harmful rays. Never look at the sun directly, even during a partial eclipse, or you could damage your eyes permanently. Only look at the sun without protection when it is completely covered by the moon during the total eclipse. And make sure to plan ahead, because the path of totality will be very crowded and popular. The path of totality will be about 200 kilometers wide and will cross 15 states and several major cities. Millions of people will be able to witness the eclipse from their homes or travel a short distance to see it. But if you want to see the best views, you'll need to find a clear and open spot away from buildings and trees and check the weather forecast. The 2024 total solar eclipse will be a once-in-a-lifetime event that you don't want to miss. It will be a rare and beautiful sight, a natural wonder, and a scientific treasure. It will also be a reminder of how amazing our universe is and how lucky we are to live on a planet that can experience such phenomena. So mark your calendars, get ready, and join us in the adventure of exploring the 2024 total solar eclipse. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching Curiosity. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.